Well, well, Liam, there's been a lot of uh, funny reaction to the shoe toss and everything like that. I'm sure you can prepare to block and to you know do all the football things, but you could never expect something like that to help you win a game, right? Yeah, absolutely. That was that was pretty crazy. I mean, I I saw it happen, and I, I just saw him throw something. And I wasn't really, really even sure what it was at first. Um, I was like, wow, like that that could give us a first down. Like that could kind of give us a chance to win the game here, like a second chance after we didn't get it. So definitely not a conventional um, way to, to move the chains, but I, I will take it. So. And a quick follow-up, what was your perspective of the field goal? Did you see the goal post? Did you see the ball go through? I, mean, I could see it. Um, I, it was a little little foggy. Obviously, it was a little foggy, but um, from, my, from my angle, I wasn't sure if it had leg or not. Um, and then obviously, it clearly did. Um, it would have been good from, could have been good from like 65, but um, yeah, it was exciting. Definitely, definitely very exciting. So, Liam, I feel like every week you have to sit there and answer these questions from us about like the culture and the locker room and stuff like that. So I guess, what have you seen over the past week that kind of led to the response you saw from the team Saturday? Yeah, um, you know, it's what I've been saying throughout the season. Um, you know, we've obviously had some low points. Um, there, there's been a lot of times where where it could be tough to, to kind of get motivation to keep going. Um, you know, but, but like I said throughout the year, we had the guys on this team, like we're, we're going to keep working no matter how hard it gets, um, you know, and, and no matter how, how tough the circumstances seemed around us. And, I'm, you know, I'm really happy that it was able to kind of pay off and we were able to get, um, get a big win on the road against the top 10 team. So. And Liam, uh, on that too, Jabril Cox kind of said last week, if y'all were 8-0, a lot of things would be different. How much did the win help? Yeah, um, you know, it, it really helps morale. Uh, you know, like I said, we, it, even though we didn't have the best work record, we were still coming in here um, every week uh, and, and really working as hard as we could. Uh, you know, and when you're not getting the results uh, with wins on Saturday, it, it becomes pretty draining. Um, so to kind of get that, that sour taste out of our mouth and get like a, a, a big win, um, it, it really boosts morale on the team and, and, uh, and just going forward. And hopefully we'll be able to keep the ball rolling this Saturday um, you know, and build some momentum going into the off season. So. And then obviously, you know, there's some injuries and Cam Wire kind of slid around, you know, Saturday. What did you see from him kind of moving in at guard and had he practiced much there? Um, yeah, that was awesome. You know, he, he hadn't practiced too much there. Uh, we knew that, um, that he, he might be the guy to go in at guard um, if something like that did happen where, where Chasen went down. Um, you know, and, and that's a credit to him. He's, you know, he's been kind of the sixth man on the offensive line the whole year, and, and he's done a great job. Um, you know, always staying ready to play guard, tackle, wherever we need him to be. Um, you know, so, so that's a credit to him to, to be able to be versatile like that and, and step up. Um, on the road in a big close game like that, um, you know, when he might not have been expecting to, to play like he did. And Liam, this week, early signing period, a lot of recruits making their decisions. You were once a recruit, um, kind of stuck near home the first time and made your long journey as a transfer. Um, you know, as it, it seems like in, in, the, in the locker room, there are a lot of, you know, players from uh, all over the country. and. Your adjustment to Louisiana, your perspective as someone who's far from home, how does uh, you know a player deal with that, and how does LSU make that work? Yeah, um, for me coming down here, uh, I've been able to adjust really through football, uh, you know, and, and trying to lean on like the guys and the coaching staff here at football to to get me kind of acclimated to living down here in Baton Rouge in the South, obviously very far away from home up in Boston. Uh, you know, especially in this year, that, that can be difficult um, with everything kind of closed down or not functioning as as it usually would without uh, COVID and everything. Um, but but really, that's what we've done as a team is try to kind of be there for each other and uh, and help each other through. Um, you know, being away from home, um, not having as many social outlets as, as we usually would and whatnot. So. Last week, the offense was responsible for scoring 31 of the 37 points, and uh, 
So Ole Miss comes in with a pretty big reputation for putting up a lot of points. Uh, can you talk about the mindset offensively? To, if you're going to get in a, in, a, in a shootout, you've got to do your part and try to, um, you know, execute and uh, you know maybe you know control the clock somewhat with your run game as well. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's something that, that we're going to have to do this week. Um, you know, this is a good team, football team that we're playing on Saturday. Um, and, and we're going to have to show up to play. It's going to be a big game for us um, as an offense uh, to, to really try to take control um, and, and see what we can do and build off last week where we did some good things uh, for sure against Florida. Um, definitely could, always can improve, though. You know, after watching the film, there's more, more stuff that we could have done uh, better just um, – you know, uh, change a couple of things here and there, and who knows what else could have happened for us. So, just just like every week, we just got to keep building and, and try to take the next step as an offense uh, this Saturday. So, hey Liam, uh, you mentioned momentum a couple you know, minutes ago, and just kind of building on that and heading into the 2021 season and off season and whatnot. I mean, just what does that look like for you guys over these last two weeks? I mean, just as an offense, what are some goals that you guys are trying to accomplish, and just kind of how? Can you build that momentum over these final two games? Yeah, you know, th throughout the whole season, really what we've been trying to do is just maximize our potential. Um, yeah, I, I really believe that we have a lot of talent on this football team and, and on this offense specifically. And there, there's definitely been a lot of times throughout the year where um, some things didn't go as we would have hoped um, and, and we weren't able to make plays where, where we wanted to make plays. But uh, I think it's huge for this team and, and this program to – to finish um, like we did last last weekend and go into this weekend and, and finish this season strong and really um, have some good momentum going into this off season, um, um, getting getting preparation for next year. So, Liam, um, Max Johnson throughout the year, you know, sometimes you come into a game at Auburn and the score's out of hand, or Alabama, the score's out of hand. But what did you see out of him in terms of the fact that? You know, he prepared as the starter. He took the first snap. He was the guy all the way and, and the way that he grew throughout that game as well. Yeah, yeah, he, he was awesome um, on Saturday. You know, by no means was he perfect, but stepping up uh, as, as a true freshman, making his first start um, and in a big road game in, in the swamp, um, you know, that's impressive. And he has gotten time throughout the year, obviously. Um, but, you know, this was really, really the first time that he was the guy. You know, and he got that chance to be the guy, um, and I'm, I'm happy for him that he got to have that opportunity. Uh, you know, and he really took it and ran with it. So, uh, you know, I'm not surprised that he was able to do that, though, just by the way that he prepares week in and week out, um, and just his work ethic. Uh, you know, and I'm looking forward to to this Saturday, and uh, you know, hopefully try to build on it um, for as an offense for us and, and for him individually. So, you feel like that was the loudest crowd you played in front of? This year? Um, yeah, it probably was. Yeah, it, it was. A, obviously, it's, it's still. I'm sure it wasn't the same as, as uh, full capacity or whatnot. But it was. It was cool. It, it felt like I was getting um, some of the, the, uh, the SEC uh, LSU experience that that uh, I might have been missing out on th earlier in the year. So. Hey Liam, well, this is going to be your, you know your last game of the season coming up Saturday. How is how is the year been for you overall? How would you describe what has been a, a bit of a roller coaster season for y'all? Yeah, it, I mean that's definitely a way to describe it. I'd say it's been a roller coaster. Um, you know, there's certainly been some trying times for us throughout the year where we really had to kind of lean on each other, uh, you know, and, and and lean on each other and get kind of motivation um, to, to keep working and, and keep giving everything we have um, throughout the week for, for these Tuesday practices and Wednesday practices that that they're tough um, you know but but they're important for us as a team to to prepare on a week-to-week -week basis and just develop um, in general um, but you know I it, obviously this season hasn't gone as as we would have hoped but um, I, hopefully we'll be able to finish strong this Saturday like I've been saying um, and carry some momentum into this offseason. So. What do you think just about how this year has been with so many freshmen and sophomores getting playing time? How do you think that's really going to elevate them going into next season? Yeah, that's that's huge. Um, you know, you, you're looking at the future of the program, the future of the team right here. Um, you know, these guys are going to be around for a few more years, a couple more years at least. Uh, and, and to get them on the field and, and see them not only playing but, but making plays and 
going on the road and beating a top 10 team like that's that's very uh, promising for the future and that's that's a great experience for for all these guys that, that have been able to get playing time and, and and do well so and Liam one game left here in the regular season for you guys um, the Ogeron hasn't uh, kept it that he's wanted to re-recruit you and bring you back I mean I'm sure that's something you've probably thought of some now I mean what at, at what point will you kind of reflect and go through that process and, and think about what you might do yeah so I, I've been thinking about it um, you know I'm really just uh, focusing on, on finishing this year, finishing this week out, uh, you know, play this game this Saturday, uh, hopefully finish on a high note, and then kind of reevaluate next week and, and see where I'm at So, and, and what I want to be doing looking towards next year. We'll wrap up with Wilson. Liam, just uh, one of those questions that we've you know, talked a lot about is Kayshawn uh, Butte with uh, back-to-back 100-yard games here uh, since Terrace, uh, you know, opted out. Um, was there something that y'all could see, you know, that made you think this could be coming from him when he was going to get that opportunity to kind of become the number one that he could really take that role? Yeah, um, you know, he's got as much talent as anyone. Um, you know, there's a reason why he was the type of recruit he was. Um, you know, even when we had all those guys uh, before, before any of the opt-outs or whatnot, you know, he was still someone that, that we were looking to see if we could find a way to get him on the field and get him involved in the offense just because of all the talent that he has. Uh, you know, and now with him being kind of the, one of the number one guys at receiver, he's really kind of stepped up and, and ran with his opportunity like a lot of guys have. Uh, like I, I feel like I've been saying that a lot throughout this interview, um, you know, which is promising for the future of this team and the future of the program. So, Thank you, Liam.